Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. All right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I got a defensive play for you today uh, out of the. I think I'm in the uh, Cincinnati playbook, which is a defensive playbook that I that I've been using pretty much all year. Um, the play that I found here today, though, I found it in a random playbook. I'm not really sure. Uh, I was playing a. Uh, a draft, mutt, whatever, mutt draft, and uh, I don't remember what playbook it was, but it forced me to get creative, and I found a really good play, a really good defense that I was using uh, for that entire season. Uh, it's out of the 4 3 under. If you guys don't know, my 4 3 under, one of my favorite plays all year this year, is the FS Fire 3. I'll pop a link for that. It's my most viewed video this year. Um, it's without a doubt to me still one of the best defenses. So I have another play from this formation now that I'm using quite a bit, and it's the Tampa 2. The Tampa 2 is one of the more popular defenses this year. I can't say it is out of the 4 3 under though but it's definitely a very effective defense so we're gonna go and pick that and then on offense i'm just gonna go i want to go random anything i guess i'll just go random play entirely i hope i don't get too many like goal line plays and stuff like that but let's go and let's go random play it's really a uh, really unique play so what i'm gonna do first of all is i'm gonna pinch my defensive line i didn't mean to be on that guy he would move in and then i'm going to spread my linebackers now this is something it's not working right now there we go we're going to spread those linebackers and bring this linebacker down so basically it looks like i got a really wide front here uh which is basically you know two it's six it's basically six defensive front uh, and front i don't really have outside containment like i would want because you have a three linebacker or three tight end set so that's not typically something you're going to see but in that scenario it might behoove you to just bring this guy out even further you typically want outside containment but for now i'm not going to worry about it so that's basically what i want to have there um, this here is going to be um, what I like to call a cover five. These outside coverages are going to change quite a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this guy here, this, this left corner. I'm going to put him on an outside third. Then I'm going to put um, my safety here, I think it's my free safety, on an inside third. And we're going to basically have, have what looks like a cover five. If you guys don't know a cover, I'll, go, I'll back out and I'll show you what a cover six looks like. Yeah, right here we got a cover six. A cover six gets that name because on the left side you have a cover two and on the right side you have a cover four. Do the math and you have a cover six. So we're going to go ahead we're going to go back in and we're going to pick Tampa two. So here we go. We're going to go back with those adjustments. Uh, pinch my line. Spread my linebackers. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this guy. If you want to, I'm going, I'm actually going on them because I have to move this guy up anyway. So it's just quick for me to just go ahead and hop out on him. Then hop out on the safety, then back to the middle linebacker because that's going to be who I'm using anyway. So that's my cover five look. Now it's really up to you what you want to do with Kendricks. I wanted to put, I should have put him on a hard flat while I was there. So now I have outside coverage. And this is basically it. The hard flat is going to react better to the run. If I really wanted to kick it up a notch on the run, I could just go ahead and put him on a blitz. If I think it's going to be run, I could do that. Um, sometimes I'll man the running back if I think it's going to be a run. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty flexible on that, as far on that end. Uh, but realistically, I'm going to run it uh, just like this. Now this guy's not in a vertical hook anymore. So this is pretty much the defense. Like I said, this is going to confuse your opponent because there's nothing like that. Nothing like this out in the game. Let's go ahead and let's let the uh, computer run it a few times. He definitely got me on the play action. But there's nothing open. That's the point of this play. He's got to take off. Everything's covered. That's what I'm talking about. Like I said, quite a bit, though, I do like to send Kendricks here on a blitz. That is something that I like to do quite a bit. It, you'll get good pressure doing that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and make all my other adjustments. In this scenario, um, I also, like I said, I like sometimes to put this dude on the running back, and then I like to stand up Brandon Graham here. So this is a pretty unique look right here. I can run it just like this. A lot of people say um, using a defensive lineman isn't really the best way to go. I'm guessing that was pressure-related. Maybe that's why I threw it high. So if you're going to send that blitz, like I said, on this last play, I sent Kendricks in. But now i got a tight end on that side. So what you really want to do is you want to send Bradham over here. So let's go ahead and let's send him this time. Um, that's any time. You basically just want to send him uh, wherever your, um, you know, wherever you don't have, the, wherever the short side is where the least amount of blocking is. So let's go ahead and let's rock this one time. Oh, we definitely, Daniel Ellerby is not giving me the speed I want. He got about five yards there. Daniel Ellerby slow as crap. Wasn't expecting that. I didn't even know he was still on the roster. So here we go. We got an empty backfield here. So let's go ahead and let's uh, let's abuse this. Like I said, this is not. You typically don't want to call a play like this uh, when you have so much, um, you know, when you have so many wide receivers. But I'm going to make this happen anyway. You're going to watch what type of result I get. He's not going to get nothing. Look at that. He's just running for his life, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna get him. See, nothing. Everything covered. So I'm getting a lot of unique looks. A lot of heavy looks. Um, we'll go ahead. We're going to send in this blitz this time. Uh, like I said, make sure you bring Kendricks out. 
That's just there. He's really just there for outside containment, for run plays. That's really the only reason for that. And then I'm going to go ahead and send this blitz. I'll leave that short side open. I don't, I don't care. I'm going to risk it this time just to get a little extra pressure. Sometimes you got to do that. Sometimes you got to leave gaps. Hopefully Daniel Lollerby can get me there if he runs the ball this time. And I totally bit on that play action. But you know what? We're going to light this dude up. And that was the blitzer. Even though I got there too, the blitzer came in free. Yeah, you really got to make up your mind um, in these coverages uh, what you really want to see. So here, uh, this looks like a run play if I had to guess. I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to send Bradman though. Um, just take the chance on him. So then we go ahead. We're going to do the normal adjustments, cover five. I'm going to use her with Ellerby here. I don't have flat zone coverage to the one side. It's really my choice though. If I want to put him on a flat, I think it's just wisest to stand up. Uh, the defensive end on the other side so I can because I can still have um, four-man blitz and get all the coverage that I need so here definitely was a run play get a nice shed there by Fletcher Cox this is a good run a really good run defense especially if you're expecting run I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this is a run even though I'm not sure I'm gonna send everybody leave a cover two and you can see how we have four in the box that's really gonna, gonna stuff gonna stuff it and then these outside guys are really gonna stuff it it's a really good run setup yeah, one of the things about putting this outside linebacker in a hard flat and having him out here like this is he's going to play the run really well. That's one of the things about uh, this about this type of uh, you know cover twos and hard flats and stuff like that. They play the run really well. So if Elliott is coming in here, which I'm not necessarily thinking he's gonna, but if it's an inside if it's an inside draw, he should be taken care of by that linebacker. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drop Curry back again. I almost it was almost an inside draw there. Oh my goodness, man, that was that was close. Like I said, these cover, this cover five is really tricky, even for the computer. Because like I said, there's nothing like this in the game. So we're gonna go. We're gonna do this hard flat again. I'm hoping it's an inside handoff, um, or a handoff in that direction, because I really think that that linebacker should handle this. Even with me standing up, if he runs in that direction, I really think he can handle this. So they're actually totally bit on it, and we get that free blitzer again. So that's it. That's the play. Uh, the only cover five in existence. Um, I'll try to put the, uh, the the description on how to do it, the setup in the in the description below. So if you guys want to, you know, see more defensive plays, more blitzes, do me a favor to like button. And I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Moist it out.